You idiot! This little SUV just couldn't take it anymore. Viral video filmed last week on a barge traveling to Fraser Island, Australia, shows an SUV rolling off the vessel and sinking. The footage was posted to Facebook by Chloe Swift on Saturday. But how did this come to be? The vessel was operated by Manta Ray Fraser Island barges, and they've said they're investigating what went down, uh, literally. First, there were two things at play. One, the car's handbrake was on, but it wasn't in gear. And two, the ramp wasn't elevated on the barge, which was reportedly already far into its journey. And if that's the case, we're thinking somebody on the barge may be to blame for the SUV's watery demise. Or perhaps the suicidal SUV just couldn't take it anymore. The vehicle was rented by a group of travelers, and some of them lost their debit cards, phones, and passports when the car sank into the ocean. The car managed to stay afloat for around 30 seconds before it became a permanent submersible. From there, it's said to have sunk some 60 meters to a watery grave. Fraser Island's a popular surf spot and is home to all manner of sea life, including great white sharks. So surfers better take care because those guys now have a 4x4. Enjoy that? Here are some more stories on sinking cars. Homes evacuated after a huge cavern opens under a driveway in Florida. It took just 15 minutes for this hole to expand into a huge cavern beneath a driveway in Pasco County, Central Florida, Monday morning and almost completely swallow a car. According to witnesses, a woman who declined to be identified was driving her Hyundai and narrowly avoided being pulled into the gaping hole while trying to park. The fire rescue department responded to a call at around 10.45 a.m. that a car was tipping deeper into the hole as it grew to a diameter of about 10 feet within 15 minutes. No one was hurt, but six families in the Holiday Travel Park community were told to leave their homes as a precaution. Geologists say they will need another three to four weeks to survey the cavern to determine if it is a true sinkhole. Sinkholes are a natural occurrence. Acidic groundwater flows into bedrock and dissolves it, creating cavities and caves which could cause collapses of this kind. A construction project nearby might also be responsible for the cavern. This is not the first time a large hole has appeared in the area in the past six months. Another sinkhole opened just a mile away. It's not known how long it will take to retrieve the car from the hole. Sinkhole swallows vehicles on Australian beach campground. Dozens of holidaygoers got quite the scare over the weekend when the beach they were camping on suddenly collapsed into the ocean. A large sinkhole opened up near Queensland's Rainbow Beach, terrifying campers along Inskip Point on Saturday. Fishermen were the first to notice the shoreline quickly receding into the ocean around 10.30 p.m. Casey Hughes told ABC News it sounded like thunder as the sinkhole was opening. The sinkhole was 150 meters long, 50 meters wide, and three meters deep. The sinkhole swallowed up one car, a caravan, a camper trailer, and several tents. 140 people were evacuated from the campground. No injuries were reported. Most of the campers were able to move their vehicles out of harm's way before their campsites disappeared underwater. Italian conservationists get a horrible sinking feeling. A stretch of road has collapsed in central Florence, swallowing a row of parked cars and cutting water supplies. The sinkhole formed just 200 meters from the Ponte Vecchio, a 14th century bridge that is one of the key landmarks of the ancient city. A 200 meter stretch of road collapsed on the banks of the Arno River, which runs through Florence. The chasm formed in the early hours of Wednesday and submerged some 20 parked cars in water. At around 1 a.m., a crack occurred in a cast iron water pipe running underneath a road by the riverbank. Cracks then formed in the road above before the leak was temporarily fixed. Several hours later, a second blowout in the 60 centimeter diameter pipe led to more underground flooding. The road then collapsed with the sinkhole reaching up to seven meters deep in some places. No one was injured in the incident, and the city's mayor assured residents there was no threat to Florence's historic city center. Bus in Brazil swallowed in giant sinkhole.
Drone footage shows vehicles sinking into Wisconsin Lake. Guess what? If you park on a frozen lake, there is a chance your car might actually sink. And that's exactly what happened in Wisconsin during the Winterfest celebrations. Drone footage shows the moment when several vehicles parked on frozen Lake Geneva started sinking due to a rise in temperature. The lucky owners of five vehicles managed to drive their cars out of the lake. Ten more vehicles, however, could not be rescued and were submerged in the water. Fortunately, no one was in the cars when they began to sink. As parking lots were scarce during the festival, it seems police gave drivers permission to park on the ice. One of the car's owners said people do not normally park on the lake. We're guessing this will be their last time doing that. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now.